good morning. It is day two, first, first and only full day in New York City. <laughs> and as we knew it would be, it's raining. It's raining. Yeah, and it's cool. It's like 48, I yeah, think. Yeah, somewhere around there. It's a steady rain. It's not heavy yet, but I think it's going to get heavy around lunchtime. I thought I would show you our view in the daylight. I know I showed it last night a little bit, and you can actually open the window in our hotel room, which was surprising. Um, but anyway, you can see the water towers, water tower up there. And then we're on the 20th floor, so I can't even, I can't point you all the way to the street, and they, the window only opens that much. I guess that's their way of keeping people from doing stupid things like leaning out the window to film. <laughs> This is our lovely weather for today, and I actually think this is the lightest rain. It's just gonna get heavier all day. At least that's the forecast. But like I said, we're gonna make the best of it. This is certainly not ideal. All right, so we popped into sort of a deli hot bar, all kinds of food. A lot of uh, Asian, different types of Asian food. Not now, of course, it's breakfast, but, um, and they've got a buffet. Brian is getting the olive and cheese omelet. Oh, this is the wild mushroom. Oh, you got the wild mushroom. And then he's getting some ham and fries. Is that it? All right, so here's Brian's food. Looks good, and it was only like five bucks. Yeah. I mean, for New York City, that's like really cheap. The hotel had it like an egg white frittata for $15. $15. And I mean, this was not fine dining at the hotel either. This was like quick breakfast. So, we have stayed at Courtyards by Marriott before and they told me that several of the items on the menu are gluten-free. Today they told me nothing was gluten-free. I think he was confused though. Yeah, I, or, or just didn't want to say, didn't want to take the chance, I don't know. So I ended up eating a protein bar, yay me. It's good. And you know, like everything Brian's eating is probably gluten-free, but I don't know, there's no way to know. And you know, so, oh well. So we're up on the second floor eating. It's a very cool mural, mosaic. So we are trying to find our way to head to the 9-11 uh, memorial site. So we're waiting on our subway. It's not here yet. So we're now on the sub on the way to the 9-11 memorial and we just found out our friends a lot hope we're not coming. Um, I mean, they lifted up to us, they were willing to come, but we told them not to. There's a chance they'll be flooding and the trains will close down and then they wouldn't be able to get home, which would not be cool. So we told them we totally understand, but we miss you a lot. Yeah. So a friend of mine told me to be sure and check out um, St. Paul's Church. It was used by the firefighters in 9-11 as a place to rest and get food. And this is it right here. We're gonna walk the block and see if we can get in from the other side. So the church wasn't open yet, so we decided to look at the memorial first. Um, I will say it's confusing. We're having a hard time finding everything we wanna see, and there's maps, but it's still confusing. This is really amazing looking though. I wish I could go out where the rain is and get a better picture, but it's raining. So now we are inside of that building. I just filmed from the outside. It's huge. So here's another view, kind of shows you how huge it is. Just amazing. This is pretty impressive. It's a good spot for a rainy day. See the outside window, the rain coming down. Yep, rain is coming down. All right, so Brian did some Googling because neither of us were familiar with this building. It's called the Oculus and it's built for the transportation between New York and New Jersey, is that right? Sounds like it, yeah. yeah. Four billion dollar structure, wow. Well, the, I was told Brian, the floors actually look marble. They may not be, but they look very fancy. So yeah, it's a really nice facility. So it's kind of interesting, it's almost like a little mall in here with high-end stores. Really high-end. Yeah, really high-end. <laughs> it reminds me when you go to a casino and they have all those super expensive, you know, stores. It's 
definitely an impressive structure, no doubt about it. So we're now at the other side of the Oculus. So we started over there on that balcony and now we're at the other end about to go to the 9-11 Memorial. So here we are at one of the memorial pools. So these are where the building stood. I actually stayed in the World Trade Tower 20 some years ago and two weeks after I stayed there was the first bombing, which a lot of people don't remember. And that actually scared me because I had just been there, but it was sort of a failed attempt. And uh, if you're old enough, I think everyone remembers where they were the day this happened, exactly what you were doing. It, it just was like etched permanently as a bad, bad memory. It is impressive. It is a good memorial. I think, they, I think they had a lot of controversy. Like, what do we do? Well, that would be hard. Yeah, and right. they have all the names. You can walk all the way around. And there's a second one as well, of course. So, sorry for the umbrella in the shot, but the rain's really picking up. Um, this in front of us is the museum. We're actually not doing it today, um, but I've heard it's really nice. I've heard it's well done. We are going to try to make our way back to St. Paul's Church because I was told by a friend who used to live here that that's the, she actually found it more moving than the museum, so we want to go check that out. Alright, so now we're at the second memorial pool. I don't see how they could have done a better memorial. I think this is perfect. Alright, we are back at St. Paul's. I am trying desperately not to get the camera yet wet, but still show as much as I can. So we're gonna head inside. So here's a picture of St. Paul's when the World Trade Towers were there. This is called the Bell of Hope. It's just outside of St. Paul's. All right, so Brian's doing double umbrella duty for the moment. We have made it to Chinatown. Really interesting architecture on that building in the distance. Up the weather too, we fogged in. Yeah, fogged in. All right, so here's some more of Chinatown. All right, so Brian found him a friend here in the subway. It's cute. We got these little guys here, so he's working on the transit. That's a sheep. Oh, that's a sheep. And then a police officer. More money bags, and now we've got a, a scorpion, or no, that's a lobster or crayfish. All right, if you know what these are, yes, please leave, leave us a comment. comment. Yeah, we'd like to know, like, what the significance of all the money bags is. We have arrived at Chelsea Market, and I think we are going to eat somewhere that our friends recommended. We were going to meet them today and eat here, but um, they couldn't make it due to the weather, so we're going to see if we can find it. All right, we finally found it. This is where Alana and Hope are going to meet us for lunch today, so we're going to go try it. Alright, we are here at Freeman's, and the menu is definitely good for, I think, both of us. So this was a good pick. 
just okay for you. It's good for me. They have gluten-free buns here, which is awesome. And I got the Hudson Margarita, um, which is basically like a mango margarita. It looks good. So here's my gluten-free burger, which looks huge and amazing. My fries, which look good. And then Brian got a bowl of fries. <laughs> and what'd you get, the veggie sandwich? Veggie sandwich. Looks good. So we just finished our lunch at Freeman, and I really enjoyed mine. I got a burger, the fries, very tasty, it's nice to be able to get gluten-free bun. So we finished our lunch at Freeman's, we both really enjoyed it. We're just gonna shop around now. Alright, so we went all the way to one end of Chelsea Market, now we're working our way back, and it's definitely slow going. I think everybody had the same idea of getting out of the rain. There's a spice shop. This is something we definitely do not see at home. Some pretty cool chocolates. There's the Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty. Pretty neat looking view. We are going to head back. And I think we need to go this way to get back to our room. We're going to take a room break. Yeah, much needed room break. Yeah, get out of the rain for a bit. We are back at the room for a break and to get out of this rain. It is still coming down. I know it's hard to see on the film, but it's really coming down hard. And after a while, you just get sort of waterlogged. Like both our jeans were wet almost up to our knees. Despite the rain, we are out again and we are headed towards Times Square. So the weather officially says that we are having a nor'easter, which down in the south, we don't know what that is, but apparently it's cold and rainy. So if you're from the north, I'm sure you're getting a good laugh, but uh, we're not used to this kind of weather, especially not in mid-May. Despite the rain, we are out at Times Square one last time. It's awesome. Are you having fun? Yeah. So, sadly, the stairs are closed tonight due to the rain. There's still a ton of people down here though. There is a lot of people. Good morning from New York City. It's our third day. It's our last morning. Departing this morning. Departing this morning. Um, we, it's been a plus and minus trip, but we knew that going in. Yeah. I think we have definitely made the best of it, but being here during a nor'easter was not fun. No. I don't recommend it if you have a choice. We didn't, our plane tickets were non-refundable, so we just did what we could, and I think we still had fun. Yeah. And we got to see some really moving things too with the 9-11 yeah. memorial. Um, but you can still see the evidence. <laughs> it looks really disgusting from yesterday. Um, it was just, it was so rainy all day, like all from, from first thing in the morning until late in the evening, yeah. just non-stop. I don't think it ended till like 2 a.m. or something this like pizza that. pizza box is still surviving. <laughs> yeah, we saw this pizza box last night. That's pretty funny. Oh, it's been there with us since Friday. <laughs> oh, since Friday? Yeah. That's funny. So we're headed to get some breakfast this morning because we got up early enough to uh, have some time before we have to catch our flight. So Brian is going back to the same place you saw him at yesterday because he really enjoyed that and they have a huge selection. Like if I knew for sure I could get gluten free there, I totally would. Um, it looked really good. Yeah. And then I am going to Starbucks to get their gluten free sandwich and we're going to take it back to the room uh, since we have extra time and can relax. Also, we forgot to mention it's freezing this morning. It's in the low 40s. And um, at home, it's going to be in the 80s today. So, yeah. yay! Can't wait to get back home. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, New, sorry York. New York. We're, we're excited to go back uh, to warmer weather. All right, so used to the golden arches were kind of a universal symbol. I think now Starbucks has become a universal symbol. Essen has balloons this morning. All right, breakfast acquired. Pretty for, cheap too. How much was it? Ten dollars for all that. Ten dollars? Yeah. So Brian got a huge bagel with lox cream cheese. He got an omelet, a Greek omelet, and then I got some a, potatoes. Got some potatoes. Oh, you got potatoes? Got some tots. Wow, that is a good deal because I got um, a, bunch of fruit. a bunch of expensive fruit. It was already seeded pomegranate seeds, which if you buy those already seeded, they're usually expensive. And I got some kiwi. 
All right, so here's what we got for just $10 at the Essence. Pretty good deal. Um, he got this huge bagel with lox cream cheese, his various potatoes and omelet, and then I got all this fruit. It's a really good deal. And then separately, I got my gluten-free sandwich from Starbucks. Nice. So we're almost to Penn Station now. It's right across from us. There's Madison Square Garden. Got our luggage. Got Hit our down. little luggage. That's, Brian's actually doing mine for me because it's heavier, of course, because <laughs> I'm me. Well, he has a backpack. I don't have a backpack, so mine's a little heavier. But here we are, last morning. We're saying it's too bad we didn't have this weather uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Because, yes, it's a little cool, but it's totally tolerable. It's beautiful. Yeah, oh well. So we're in Penn Station now. It's a lot less crowded than when we came. It is a lot less crowded, right? It's actually tolerable. Yeah, it's not a mass of humanity. So we're now watching this board here, and then it'll pop up where we need to go next. All right, so here goes everyone. They just posted it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> track 17. You love it? So we're on our train. We survived the running of the blue. We did survive. It's crazy. And then everybody has to go down this really narrow staircase. And JFK is next, right? Here we are at Jamaica Station. <laughs> we'll switch over to a train to JFK. All right, so we're now on the air train. And momentarily it will leave and we'll head to JFK. Yeah. So thanks for following along on our very wet New York trip. Yeah. But we had fun. We made the best of it for sure. Sure did. Yeah. So if you enjoy it, please like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. Bye. Bye.